okay it's important before you um, get to this stage where we're about to halt to train this little horse is that you can have some basic skills happening as well you know so can you catch your horse you know can you walk up to them and, and give them a rub all over so we might just check through these first these things first off and uh, before we put this rope on him here you right there mate he does look comfortable doesn't he so when he's finished doing his thing okay you done all right first of all and we, we did this in the, the video just a moment ago. We learnt to approach our horse and approach his shoulder and to cause him to flex towards you. So Major doesn't have any trouble flexing towards us and it's important that he stays soft and supple when we approach him. Okay. Now you don't want to go see the rope. Okay, so we can walk up to him. He doesn't get worried. We make sure we can rub him all over. This is what you do for your young horse. And you may do this for your horse who your old horse as well, just to make sure you can do all these things. And those of you who are doing our foundation program, you'll know all about this, as this is all part of our, our program that we teach you guys. So there he turned his head, and I changed sides. It's important that he turns towards me to allow me to go through there, and just, just rubbing, rubbing him all over, and you notice my toes are facing away from a horse and my belly button's away from a horse. It's not at the horse, okay, which cause, could cause the horse to be a little bit intimidated. Here we're just away from the horse, giving him a rub. He looks pretty confident with that, doesn't he? So these are some prerequisites before we come to halter training. Can we move him away? Just by putting our hands on him, just maybe move his front away. Good. Can we maybe just move his hind away? These are things we taught our horse when he was little. Much smaller than what he is now. Can we back him up by the, by the chest? Can we back him up by the nose? Can we, lo can we lower his head? It's important that we could do this because that's where our halter is going to go. So if we're going to put our halter on our horse, it's important that it yields from here. Can he take that pressure? Can he step across the other side? Don't walk forward. Now when, generally when we press on, push on here, some horses might want to go forward. So you might need to make sure you've got your back up worked out well first so you ask him to yield his hind across and he, he walks forward a bit you can just put your hand there and say don't walk forward so much okay all these things were taught to this horse when he was little and you can probably see he, he's pretty light on these yields and they, it's important that they get done from both sides lower your head there buddy There we go. Good boy. Pretty good. So we can rub him all over and we can ask him to yield to pressure. Once he can do that, and you did you taught him that, and hopefully you taught that to them when they're young, then we can go to our rope. Here's our rope, buddy. You know, if you're going to put this rope on your horse, it might be important that he's not afraid of that, and maybe that you could rub him all over with that too. I'm going to change sides. We ask him to flex, change eyes before we just barge on over there. He looks pretty good with that. We're going to do contact yields, which means teach him to follow the feel of this lead rope. We're going to do a little bit of no contact to help him understand the feel of this lead rope. So no contact meaning we're going to just drive him a little bit. 
Okay. First up, we'll make sure we can teach him to feel that backwards. Good. We can ask him now to to go forwards. In a moment, actually, I just want to make sure he can steer his front end here before we go forward too much. So I'm going to ask him to see. ask him to follow the feel of this rope. In a moment, we'll go forward with it. Now, when I apply pressure on this rope around his neck, his job, Major's job, is to put his nose over that rope. Okay. So here, I've got some pressure on there, and his nose goes over. I'll release. Yeah, that might have been just a lucky shot, but we'll release anyway. It's important that he doesn't go from me moving over here, so I'm going to ask him again. Pay attention there, buddy. The reason we're going around the neck is because the horse is stronger in this point. So if he disagrees and doesn't want to yield to pressure, he can teach us maybe a few things about position, about feel, about timing. So it's a, this is as much for you as it is for the horse. So to teach the horse to, this we call a neck rope here, to teach him to, to lead with a neck rope is an important step to teaching him to lead with a halter. And having a, ho a horse leading properly in a halter is real important for its next for the next stage, and that's after we teach them to lead, then we then we ask them to accept a rider as well. So we better make sure he leads properly. We'll start with this neck rope. See here, I've got some pressure on that, and his nose comes over. I've got a little bit of extra pressure there to get his front legs across. I'll just back him up a bit. We'll do that again. Good. Good. So every time he puts his nose over that rope, oh, more space, buddy. Every time he puts his nose over the rope, we'll release. So here I'm going to put some pressure on so you guys can see here. When his nose comes over, release. Not forward. Nose over. Good boy. After his nose, his legs should go. So here he's trying to get in my personal space and I'm just driving him away, teaching him not to come in my space. Follow the feel of that rope. His nose is over. This time I'm going to ask for a little bit more, ask for his legs to go over. Good boy. Then release. Doesn't look too hard, does it? And you'll notice here when he comes into my personal space, I just wave my arms or my ropes and ask him not to come into personal space. Okay, let's see if we can take that into our forward now. So I'm going to point in that direction. I'm going to drive here with my other arm, and he's gone off, and I release, and we're off. And the goal here is to walk shoulder to shoulder with the horse. That'll cause them to flex around you. Okay, you walk too far in front, they'll flex away from you. Walk too far from behind, they just might drive you away with their foot. So here, I haven't got any pressure on him. I'm just walking along with Major. Now, one of the pre, one, all the only thing he has to do is make sure he turns left. Okay. So he can go anywhere he wants as long as he turns left. Now, if he goes to turn right, what I'm going to do is I could push his hind with my hand to steer him, or I could drive his hind away and shoot it away like that. So when you're up close, it might be contact that you need, so push. Drive forward. Once he goes forward, we release. And here you can see I've, I've got my hand over the top of him and rubbing him while I'm going along. That's pretty good.
These are all prerequisites to halter, to putting the halter on. Here I've slowed my body language down to a, to a halt, and he's halted as well. That was pretty nice. Now if he didn't, I'd pick up my lead rope and use that to stop him. Or, as you guys probably noticed before, once he was going along and I wanted him to stop, I could yield his hind and take a bit of that power out until he stops. And there he licks his lips and acknowledges that, which is a great thing. Okay, so that works pretty good. So he can go forwards, he can go backwards, he can turn left and right with his front end and his back end with a neck rope. That's it. That's what we need first up. We'll just check our other side here. Here again, I'll ask him to change sides, change eyes. It looks like he wants to walk forward, so I'll release into a forward. It's important that you open up. Here, he can go when he goes forward. <laughs> he's got to turn right. And again, you'd probably do this, like that we're doing this in a reasonably small area here. Not a round yard, although that's not a bad option. But this yard here is a little bit more interesting and you can work your corners a bit more. Here I'm relaxing, I'm slowing down, I'm rubbing my horse. See if he follows my body language. Comes down, comes down to a halt without me using my, my lead rope. Later on I'd like to be able to ride this horse and do exactly the same to be able to, st to stop him when I'm riding. And maybe even stop real fast. Maybe even go to a backup without having to use my reins or my any other aids. That's our goal and it all starts here with our halter training. So there we got it. Forwards, backwards, left and right. And we did his head up and down. It's real important with your horse that when he picks up his feet that he flexes around you again. Okay, everything we do is asking our horse to flex around us, to soften and to not to brace against us. A lot of horses, when you go to pick up their feet, will brace and maybe even put their weight on that leg or tighten their leg up like this and say, go and do it. Okay, we don't want any of those. We'd like them to, to flex around and to pick their foot up for us. Okay, so just to flex and pick it up. It's important that we teach them that in everything we do because when we come to riding we want them to flex around our legs and soften to every to our aids when we're when we're steering them. So here you see this little horse is pretty good with me rubbing his legs. Just gonna cause a little bit of discomfort down here by squeezing his leg till he picks it up and then I'm gonna give him a rub. Okay, we'll do that again. You're right there, Major? Discomfort picks it up. I'm just going to hold this for a moment. Now, when I'm release, I'm going to release when he flexes towards me. There, release. These little things are important. It's the same as when we were talking about the other horse before. When you let them go, that you make sure that they're they're flexed towards you when you let them go. When you put this foot up, pick this foot up and put it down. It, the horse needs to to flex and and pick pick it up and put it down politely. Okay. Same with our back foot here. We're going to come down to our back foot. You can see Major can handle me rubbing that pretty well. I'm going to cause a bit of discomfort here until he picks it up. Then I'm going to hold it. When he flexes towards me, I'm going to let it go. Come on, Major. <laughs> In a moment, in a moment. When he gets over this in a moment. We've got our flex. There. Let it go. Good boy. So a little moment there. 
where we had to be good with our rope and you can see why it's pretty handy to have a nice long rope sometimes. So here we've got his leg up and a flex towards us. Now I've got to do this little horse's feet a lot of times when he gets older. So I'd like for him to learn from a young age to help me out. There we've got our flex and he's holding that leg up a lot better there. Okay. That's something that we need to develop and to have for a habit for our horse and for ourselves is to make sure that we release at the right time. Once you can do, do all your forwards, backwards, left and right from short range, from a, just alongside your horse, then we go to long range. Okay, but it's important to start short range first if you can. So here we're just going to ask our horse to go forward. Just going to let him go out a little bit further. We're just going to drive him off. I'm going to swing the end of this rope here. Just till he gets a bit further away. Now here you notice I'm driving him from behind his shoulder. Okay, so a little bit confused here for a moment. Going to go back every time he gets a little bit confused so I can go back to my short range and help him out, help him understand and then I'm going to try and go long range again. So I just got him, trying to get him further away there. There we go. Just doesn't matter too much what gait he does but trot's okay for me shoulder to shoulder with him but now I'm long range. Okay. I'm going to ask him to stop by yielding his hind. So I'm going to walk towards his hind and notice my lead rope here was going towards his hind as well. And he stopped. Good boy. We'll try his other side. Short range first, a bit further away, long range. <laughs> a bit of fun for him. Okay, it's going pretty good. I'm going to walk towards his, put some pressure towards his hind and get his hind away there. Now if he didn't yield his hind, I'd reach down my rope, try again. If that didn't work, I'd reach down my rope, try again. Until I got back to here, if I had to. So you need to have that short range first. Make sure I can get him out of my personal space. Just get him to back up there. Can ask him to go in this direction. Now he needs to follow the feel of that rope. Go forward. It's driving him forward here. Now while I've got him long range, I'm just going to try and see if I can get him over this little bale of hay over here. Hey, it's a bit of fun, is it? You think I'm bossy? Yeah. Oh, he's over. Now it's important when he goes over that I release on that rope and make sure he gets lots of comfort. Good boy. Yeah. That was pretty exciting for you, wasn't it? Let's see if we can do that the other way. So I directed first with my lead rope and then drove. Here he needs to respect my personal space and go over that jump. Okay, now if he, if he hasn't respected my personal space, he'll try and bring his shoulder towards you. And that's where you need to teach your horse more of this sort of thing. Good boy. 
So more four quarter yielding. If they keep running, running into your personal space, you need may need to be a little bit more conscious of it. Teach them to get out of your personal space. You can do that with your hands, or you can do that just with rhythmic pressure like this here until they get out of your personal space. So we, we lead with our lead rope and here I'm just going to get that rope and drive from behind his drive line until he goes forward. So he looks like he's got some basics happening there. Once you can get to this stage you might want to make it a bit more interesting for the horse. You're going to yield his hind, spiral away from him like when we caught him and ask him to change sides. Just little things like this will help for later on in your program when you're training your horse. Teach him spirals. Here he's a little bit confused so I go short range, help him out. Walk towards his hind, lead his front, keep moving there Major. It's important when he does these sorts of things that you don't pull on the rope. Rather than stop that sort of energy, redirect the energy. Okay, and turn it into something positive. So here I'm going to walk towards his hind again. Got some feel on the rope and walk towards his hind, away from his nose, off in the new direction there, Major. Once you can get some good basic communication, and here I'm just going to bring him in. So I, I used his forward energy, redirected it in so he came into me. And there, when he jumped up and down and had a bit of fun, we just let him go forward and just kept him going forward nice and smooth and until it smoothed out. And it's important that you do that. You, it's, it's a release that teaches a horse. So if he does something like that and you stop him, and then rub him, you've just taught him to do things like that. So it's important when things like that happen, especially here while we're you know, reasonably safe on the ground, we can you know, turn that into something positive. So later on when we're riding, if he gets a little bit of a fright, maybe we'll be able to turn that into something positive as well. These are important things that we teach the horse here on the ground first. So we've got some basic communication happening. We can get over a jump. We can do a changes of change of direction. We can go long range and short range. Once you can do that, you can take your horse out and go over a few obstacles. Okay, we're going to do that with a little playground down here, and we're just going to take this little horse out and make this a bit more interesting for him, and let him go and explore um, me steering him on this road.
Now we've got all that going, we're going to try our halter and see if we can do all the same things now with our halter. And it's important when we go to this halter um, that we have the communication first. Okay, so we don't need the halter, then we're ready for the halter. It's same as your bridle, when you come to riding your horse, if you need your bridle to be able to steer and control your horse, then he's not ready for the bridle. Okay. If you can't ride your horse in your halter, then he's probably not halter trained properly. We'll just make sure again. Just to make this clear that, you, that the horse yields to pressure behind the pole. Contact. Okay, so lower his head. Good boy. Flex him. And maybe if you're doing real well, that you could lead them by, maybe even by the nose. Okay, so if you've been doing your contact yields well and teaching a horse to follow a feel, you'd be able to teach him to just go forward here by the nose. So we're just going to wobble this from left to right until we get some movement happening and then release into a forward. Good boy. And try that again. So we're asking to go forward. He's a bit stuck there. So we're just going to turn him a bit and then go, once we've got some movement, just allow the horse to move forward. Little things like this are important. We approach our horse's shoulder, ask him to sniff our halter, laterally flex towards us, nose in. Here's our first halter, buddy. How's that? You'll grow into it. Just asking him to move off here so we can get him out of my personal space a bit. Just driving him so he doesn't know he's got the halter on too much just yet. I'm going to ask him to follow the feel of this halter across to my Right, good boy. The same as what we did with the neck rope now. Out of my personal space. His job is to put his nose over that lead rope. Good boy. So just tried to come in my space here. It's important you don't let these little horses get into your personal space. Okay. I can ask him to step across to my right. If he doesn't follow the feel of that halter, I'll drive him with my hand, with my other hand. He did a good job there in release. Good boy. How about the other way? Good. Make sure we can lower his head with this halter because this is something that we want to teach him to yield the pressure up here now. Sorry, mate. So we just use our, our timing and our feel here just to ask him to lower his head from the halter. If he has a bit of trouble, we'll go back to how we taught him. And that's with the hand. And there, that helped him out there. Try again. Halter. Not understanding. We taught him with the hand. So that helps him out. Whatever you can do to help your horses out, you do that. As long as it still gives them options. Good point. I'm going to try to do it without you.
Yeah, so there's some homework there, way. Oh, there we go, that was a good one. Good, and he's licking his lips there, he's thinking about that, he's digesting the thought. Let's just see if we can back him up by the halter here. If he doesn't understand it, remember we'll go back to our hands, because that's what we've already taught him that we know. I'm sort of doing this in a strange position so you guys can see. Now he's got discomfort there, it's real uncomfortable for him at the moment. I'm going to have to use my hand here. Good, and release. I'll do that on this side. So we've got our halter. He's exploring. If he doesn't understand, oh good, and release. If he didn't understand I was going to use my hand because of he understands that. Halter. Good boy. And again, just one more. So about three tries is a good thing. You might have to settle for one or two. But three tries from my horse, he tried three times, we've done three steps backwards there. That's a good thing. Okay, we get some movement happening here. We're gonna do a hind quarter yield. Good. Four quarter yield. Good. Hind quarter yield. Good. And each time we're doing these, we're leading with the halter and the lead, so he learns to follow the feel of that lead. So here I'm driving his hind, but I've got my lead rope pointing in that direction as well. So here I'm going to ask for the front to come across. Oh boy, doing pretty good. We're going to try our jump again. So we're going long range now, a little bit longer. You notice I'm leading with my lead rope and then I drive with my other hand. So lead with your lead rope first. We're teaching him to follow the feel of that halter. You're going to stand on it. <laughs> he says, we did that before. Hind quarter, now here I'm pointing in that direction with a lead rope. And his job is to follow that feel, and he followed that feel there. If he didn't, I'd wave this other hand here. Go faster, mate. Try that again. So he, when he follows that feel of that rope, we release the pressure. So here, direction, drive. Good boy. So he went, he had release as he went over there. Driving the hind. Doing a good job there, mate. Now we've got some basic yields happening. We can steer him left and right. We can have forwards and backwards with our halter on. Now's the time that you could take him out again to the playground and, and make it more interesting for the horse. So once you've got your basic skills happening here, this may take you a few times in this yard. And just get this to where it's nice and solid before you go out and, and play around in a, in a playground like we did before. And once you feel confident in here, then go to that playground. And you might want to do, you know, um, not too large or an area first up, just in case all doesn't go as well as what you hoped. So, Start off small and as you get, so start off short range and as you get more confident and your horse starts to get more confident and understand what you're after, then start to go to bigger areas and longer ropes. So now he's, we can work on his halter training and that'll be part of his program now for the next few days. We'll come out here and go through his basic yields of steering him forwards, backwards, left and right. And ask him to lower his head, so up and down. <laughs> and then we'll take him out to the playground. So that'll be his program for the next few days. And once he can do those sorts of things, um, he'll only have his halter put on him 
when when he needs to, when we bring him in um, to maybe do his feet and things like that. So every opportunity we get, we'll put our halter on him and lead him around. But basically, after he can yield to this halter and he understands it, we're going to put him out for a little while. He's going to grow into a bit bigger horse, and then we're going to do his first rides. And if you'd like to know what that looks like, you could have a look at the colt starting uh, video. And it carries on from a horse who's halter trained, um, just halter trained, and he does his first rides, and that's that's um, Major's dad. So you get to see that process after it after he grows up into a, a big strong horse, and he can already lead.